Claudette, congratulations. You are the newly appointed CIO of the City of Edinburgh um, Council. Um, some interesting stats, um, 17,000 staff, 40,000 learners, mm -hmm. um, and 500,000 citizens. Yes. I mean, it's a, it's a big role. Yes. Interestingly, a lot of it is, a lot of the IT is, is um, outsourced. Yes, uh -huh. So how do you see the role of a CIO in an outsourced environment different from the role of a CIO where it's done in-house? Mm -hmm. um, I think the thing that I found up to now is with it being outsourced, I've got a lot less flexibility than I had, you know, when I was an IT manager in a department and if I needed something done, I just sent someone yeah, and it got yeah. done. Um, there's there's a bit more um, bureaucracy. Um, the, the costs are a lot more transparent um, and that gives challenges with the business. The business don't really want to deal with the outsourcing, so they sometimes um, maybe try and go off and do their own thing. Um, sometimes I feel that my job is more about um, getting in the middle of people that don't want to speak to each other yeah. and, and just being an arbitrator. Um, so that, that's kind of the negative points of it. You know, from a, a positive point of view, you know, there's much more resources that we can pull on. Um, you know, it's, uh, more skill sets than we would get in our own, you know, um, IT department that, you know, would be quite um, structured and the, the same thing. And how, how well set do you think a, a department which, where a lot of the IT is outsourced is to, to kind of innovate and come up with, with new ideas? Do, do, do you, is it the case that it actually frees you up to innovate more or is it the case that you're kind of a little bit more tied down because you've got less resources to dedicate to innovation? Yes, uh -huh. I think that depends on the kind of relationship that you have and the kind of contractual relationship that you have and if you contract with that in mind and you build that kind of flexibility in, then then you will get that. But if but if that's not what you've asked for in the first place, then you won't. Yeah. Yeah. I'll we'll move on to a slightly different subject because um, the Harvard National CIO came out with one kind of really big statistic, which was mm. that um, only seven percent of CIOs are women. Yeah. Um, perhaps more staggering is that if you go back five years, only seven percent of CIOs yes, are women. Uh -huh, so yes. it actually hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you see that changing in the future? Um, I hope so. I, I think that as more IT becomes commoditized and more you can buy off the shelf services, I think we're going to get bigger data centers and bigger application centers and that's going to be consolidated and the IT department's role is going to be more and more about engaging with the business and understanding what the business needs and I think women are sometimes better than that at, than, at that than men so that might be where women start getting back into IT. Claudette Jones, thank you very much. Thank you.